My wedding is in a month and I'm breaking it off. I know it sounds impulsive and I suppose it is. But there's a good reason behind it. My husband to be we'll call him liar 36m is no longer the man I thought I was marrying and I'm honestly not sure if he ever was. We met through my brother who set us up on a blind date two years ago my brother met him at work and apparently they just clicked. He thought liar and I would be a perfect match. The date went well and liar thought it'd be a good idea to go on one again. While on the second date, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a few things clear. In case this would lead to a long-term relationship which it did. I explained that I wasn't interested in being with a religious person. Someone who wanted children, etc. Basically anything that could cause problems in the future one thing I mentioned in particular was that if I wasn't his type he should be forward about it. Because I wasn't interested in changing anything permanently. I'd also like to add that we discussed medical problems because I am on medication for a psychological disorder that causes drastic weight fluctuations. He agreed with all my views. Even saying that I was exactly his type. He said he didn't mind the weight fluctuations either. Because it didn't change my appearance all too much. Which is true. Well, we've been engaged for six months now. And last week Liar sat me down and told me not to freak out. I listened. He explained that he wasn't entirely honest with me. Saying that he was a Christian and wanted children. He then continued by saying that he thought I would have changed my mind about these things. But that ultimately we could work through it together in counseling after the wedding. That wasn't where I freaked out. Because I wasn't given the chance to. He didn't stop at the stuff mentioned beforehand. He gave me the following list of things he didn't like about me and thought I'd have to change. 1. I'd have to go off the medication. Because he didn't like that sometimes I'd be easy to pick up and other times not so much. Apparently this was embarrassing in front of friends. 2. I'd have to start wearing makeup. I have a skin condition that doesn't allow for it. 3. Dye my hair brown and get it chemically straightened every few weeks. He didn't like the curls and was even willing to pay for it. Yay for. Get a boob job. And more things of the like. I stayed quiet and said that he'd have to give me a moment. I've been staying at my friend's place for the past week. Liar doesn't know. But he did get my parents who I haven't spoken to since I was 14 to call me. Apparently he's had contact with them the entire relationship. Knowing full well what they put me through. I honestly just don't know what to do anymore. I'm leaving. But I'm not sure how to tell him. Close that door and put the biggest lock you can find on it. Throw away the key and don't ever answer. If there's a knock. No matter how loud he knocks. His list is only the beginning. You'll reach a point in your life where you will no longer have a sense of self or purpose. Consider yourself lucky he pulled this shit before you got married. What in the ever FC UK did I just read? It sounds like he doesn't like anything about you and wants to change everything about you. If he expects you to do all of that for him, what is he going to do for you in return? Shishti gold bricks? Hell no. You made the right choice. Sounds like an asshat. You dodged a bullet. Thank goodness he didn't wait until after the wedding. There's the silver lining. Dude thought you were too trapped to dip. Good call calling off the wedding. I already replied to someone else's comment. What he did is emotionally abusive. Ghost and mail the ring back. He doesn't deserve an explanation. He knows what he did. Say something like we discussed many of your points early in the relationship. Yet you chose to lie and hoped I would change to what you want with complete disregard for what I want or my feelings. It is clear you do not respect me. My feelings. Our concerns. Our whole relationship is built upon your lies. There is no relationship because of you. Here is your ring back. 
Yo get this fucking turd out of here poop scissor. A 34-year-old man at the time was willing to go on a date with a 20-21-year-old women should have been the first major red flag. Also what the fuck was your brother doing setting you up with a guy that old? A painful lesson learned. You're absolutely right to break it off. Get as far away from him as you can. You don't have to be gentle with him or think of how to tell him the wedding is off. He is exactly what you called him. A filthy liar. The sexism coming out of him is gross and last but not least. He's way too old for you. Get rid. Use some choice words and then he can do one. How to tell him after our discussion. I realize that we are not compatible. Especially not as life mates. I'm no longer interested in pursuing a marriage with you. I won't be changing for you or anyone other than myself. I suggest you do the same with honesty next time. Yo what kind of big brother meets a 34-year-old man and thinks hey. It'd be so cool if he dated my 21-year-old sister who's barely an adult. Also, with someone like this who's clearly malicious and a bad person. Just know you don't owe him anything. If you wanted to break up with him with a text saying you're a psycho and I never want to see you. Or speak to you again. We're over and please don't contact me. I think that's totally reasonable. It sucks but at least he did this before you actually got married. Break it off by saying your views are different from his which it is and you both are better off. Going separate ways. He saw that you were young and hoped that he'd be able to manipulate you. But you being the wonderful person you are were able to see beyond that and dump him. Well done. Your whole future is open for you and you have embraced it. I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Run and do not look back save yourself from the nightmare heart. Be safe when you tell him. Op. Liars like this aren't safe people. Do it in a public place. Have some friends around in case things go sideways. I know people try to ignore age differences. But there's a reason a 36-year-old man wants such a young woman. They want to try and train them and understand that they don't have as much life experience. He knows women his age won't put up with this bullshit. I understand estranging parents and the fact that he went behind your back and contacted them. Proves he is unsafe to be around. Good luck and be well. Look, I know you said I needed to hear you out and not freak out. And at the time, that's what I did. I'm now going to do exactly everything you don't want. In an effort to show you exactly how dog shit it is. At this time, burn it all down with glee and wild abandon. Glad you got out now. Good luck. Make sure he's stuck with the bills from the wedding. Leave now you just dodged a bullet. I just started reading and the age gap is already a red flag. Yeah run girl what a poss. Yeah he needs to get in the bin. You don't have to tell him anything. You made what you wanted clear. Just leave you don't owe him anything. Hello hello I broke off my engagement four months before my wedding it was the best decision of my life. It's never too late. Better to call it off now rather than go through divorce later. You deserve better. All the best. Thankfully you found out now than after the wedding. I'm happy to hear you aren't compromising yourself. Ditch this psycho ASAP. Also tell everyone exactly why. Don't be tempted into keeping it private. People will want to know and he'll be spreading lies ASAP. This is the world he entered. Tell him you're not a Barbie or Mrs. Potato Head and if he wants to build a bitch he needs to play Sims.